Today we're going to be working on my Color Wednesday blog post for August 31st, 2016. We're going to be using this super cute paper shelter image called Spring Enchantment. I will put a link down in the description box to the image if you would like to hop over and grab one and color along with me. If you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I have printed my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock. So let's color! So let's outline our girl first. For that, I'm going to use C00. And let's go ahead and start right down here at her foot or her toe. And I'm just going to do a quick outline all the way around. Nothing fancy. I like to do it first because I tend to get some on my person and that way I can erase it. And I also don't have to worry about touching any other colors and pulling them out into my background. Up here, go around her finger. down here and I'm going to go ahead and fill in this little space there between her neck. And let's turn her this way a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give that these little hairs here that are on the side a little dab of color too. Let's go around over here. And I'm going to go around to our little bird friend. And I'm going to do this little space in between her arm and her bracelet. to the bottom of her shoe. And let's go ahead and do one here too. <clears throat> and this foot's off the ground, so I'm going to go ahead and do around the bottom of that shoe. Let's work on her skin next. For that, I'm going to use E21, 51, and 50. And for her cheek skin, I'm going to use E93. Let's start down here on her foot. And we're going to start with our E21. And I'm going to do just a little dab right here along the edge of her skirt. And then I'm going to come down the back of her leg. And she's got a little ankle line right there that I'm going to go ahead and give that a little bit more, a little swish of color. And I'm going to go along the bottom. And I'm going to do a little bit on each of these little toes. Then I'm going to do E51. So I just want to sit down on top of my E21. And I'm going to brush away and add a little dab. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this toe right here and the top of this one. I left the toenail because I'm going to use the E50 for that. And I think I'll brush just a little bit more and across the top of that shoe. And then we're going to fill that in with our E50. And do that toenail. I think I'll go again with my E51. And then another dab of our E50. Let's go over here and we'll do this foot. So again, go with your E21. So I'm going to go right down here along the back of her foot and do that ankle again. And then next to her skirt. And then I'm going to go along the top of her foot. And again, we want to do these little toes. 
And I'm going to go ahead and do this side of her foot too, since it's all going to be under her skirt. Then I'm going to add E51. And like the other side, I'm going to miss that nail on her toe, and then I'm going to fill the rest of her little toes in. And then we want to brush a little bit of this along our line. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with my E50. And cover up that toenail. Hey, how about her tummy here? So grab your E21. And let's do a little dab in the little curly cue for her belly button there. And then I want to go right along her shirt. And then I also want to go right along her skirt. And I'm going to make her have a shadow a little bit more on this side. So I'm going to brush this out. And let's do a little bit right here. Then let's do E51. So we're going to want to brush right away from that line. I'm going to bring it down this side of her belly. And then over the whole thing with our E50. Here and we'll do this arm. So again, go with your E21. And I'm going to do right next to her sleeve. And then I'm going to go up the back of her arm. And we're going to do this finger. And then since it's pointed this way, let's go ahead and do a little dab on this side of her arm too. And then we're going to do a little bit on these fingers. I'm going to give her a little bit of a wrist mark there. We're going to add E51. And then I want to go over the whole thing with my E50. This arm. So again, I'm going to grab my U21. And let's go down by her sleeve. And then I'm going to go right along the bottom of her arm. And we'll do inside of her hand there. And then a little dab on these fingers. Then we'll add E51. E50. On her neck, let's do E21. So let's do a little dab right here, and I'm going to bring this out just a little bit. We're going to go under her neck. And around by her shirt and in her ties right here, she's got a little bit of space of skin showing. So I'm going to go ahead and just dab some color on there and cover those up. And then come down this side. And a little dab on this side of my ribbon there. Then we'll add E51. And then over the whole thing with our E50. Then for her face, I want to do E21 up here along her bang line, or her 
before her hair is pulled back into her bun. And let's do the inside of her ear. And then I bring this color down along her cheek to her chin here. And then I want to give her a little bit of a nose crease. So I'm going to go with a little half C or a little curve right like this. Then we're going to add E51. So I want to go ahead and go with the rest of the way around her face. So I'm going to just add that right here. And then I want to brush away from my line. And then I'm going to add a little bit of my E50. And I'm going to come back and do um, another coat after I put her cheeks on. So let's do E93 for her cheeks. So we're going to do, I'm going to use these little dots here as my guide. So I'm just going to flick right across those. And then I'm going to grab E51. And then my E50 across the entire thing. another dab of my E93 too. And then I'll go over that with my E50. Let's use our E93 also on her little lips here. She just got a little bit on mine. So I'm going to do this top lip. And then it looks like her mouth's open. So I'm going to do the bottom lip right here. Give her a little cheek color. And then for the little circles around her eye, I'm going to add BO2. Let's use E35, 33, and 31 on her hair. I'm going to start with my E35. And let's do a few little creases up here in the top of her bun. So I'm going to do right. She's got a few little lines that already come down, so I'm just going to use those. And here she looks like she's got a little bump right here, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. And then we're going to come up from these flowers. So again, she's got some little lines there. Let's do this little line that's drawn onto her hair right here, too. And here's one. Then down here on the bottom, since this is the back, I'm going to color this in. And then we want to go up past her ear. And again, this is still on the bottom, so I'm going to color most of that in here. And then up here, we're just going to add some color. And I just want to use each of these little swoops to add a little bit more. And, that, and then let's do this side over here. And then again over here, I'm going to do a little dab. It's pretty small right here, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that section in.
And then let's do these little lines that are in here. Then I also, she's got a few little creases up here on the top of her bun. So that's around the, where it goes into those little flowers there. Now we're going to add some E33. So I want to add a, little, a few little lines in here. Kind of keep them going. Her hair's curved, so I'm trying to keep my lines going with the curve. And then the same for up here. fill it in with E31. So I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to wipe right across all the colors. Same for down here. Then I want to go back and add a little bit more dark in. So let's do with our E35. And we just want to darken up some of those areas that we softened with our E31. a little bit up here. There are a few little streaks up here. Even that out a little bit. On to our shirt. For that we're going to use YG 17, 25, 03, and 01. We're going to start with YG17. Now let's go ahead and start down here where this shirt is um, underneath, or the underside of her shirt. And she's got a little bit over here on her sleeve too. So let's go right along this. And then we're going to fill the rest of that in with our YG25. And I might go back again later and give those a little bit more dark in there. Now let's go up here and do the top of her shirt. So let's do YG17 again. So I'm going to go ahead, she's got a little wrinkle right here in her shirt. So I'm going to fill that little wrinkle in. So it looks like it's the underside of her shirt right there. And then right here is a wrinkle on her um, collar. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that right down here with the line that's already on there. 
And then down here on her sleeve, she's got a little bitty line right here. So I'm going to use that as my guide. And I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to come up like that. But I want to brush this color up just a little bit to cause a little V right there. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this corner of the shirt. So I'm going to start here at the end of this little ribbon. And I'm going to come down to that little dotty line. And then I'm going to bring this over where it kind of dips down right here. And then starts back up. And then again, like the top one there, I want to add a little bit more in there to give it a little bit more wide. That. And over here on this sleeve, she's got a little crease. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to bring it down on this line. And then on her sleeve, right here, she's got a little crease. That. And let's do these creases on her shirt. This. And I'm going to bring this line on this shirt up like this. And then I also want to give it a little color on this side. So let's again go close but not touching the side. This. And then we're going to use this little dotty line again as our go across lines. Let's bring this out just a little bit. And then like the other side, I want to bring that up so it's a little bit wider. Now we're going to add YG25. So I want to go over all those little areas that I put the dark down and make them a little bit bigger. So let's go down here. And then we're going to bring this right along this side of her shirt. And we want to make this one a little wider. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this up even with this little string she's got on her shirt. I'm going to try not to color that. Over here. And we'll bring that out just a little bit more. And then I also want to do up here where we got this little crease that we put on there. And let's see, she's got a little wrinkle right here where her shirt creases. I'm going to add a little dab of my color in there. Then I'm going to add YG03. So then let's go fill in this line I made down here. A little dab along this collar. And then we want to bring this up a little bit more. And let's see here, let's bring this around. And then I'm going to go over it with my YG01 and fill in the rest of those little spots while brushing over the entire shirt. Try to be careful around these little strings. I want to color those yellow later. that maybe I will give it a second coat. So let's go with our YG17. We'll put that 
right back on here. Then I'm going to add YG25. Grab YG03. And then we'll go over the whole thing again with our YG01. Sorry about that, someone must have walked by, the dogs went ballistic. So for a skirt, we're going to use B99, 97, 34, and 93. I'm going to start with my B97. Let's go ahead and color in the underside of our skirt. And if you don't use your B97 very much, you might want to take the other end of your cap off so that you don't get a big blob, because mine is, I hardly use mine, mine's really wet. So I'm feeling that it might make a big mess. Hopefully not, but it could happen. <laughs> then we're going to go up here. So we've done the inside there. So she's got a little, little crease right here in her leg where her skirt's coming up over the top of her other leg. So let's go like this. And then she's got a little wrinkle right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up and then bring this color around over here a little bit. Like that. And then over here, she's got a little spot right here between the flower and her fanny. So I'm going to cover that in. And then this little section right here where it's touching that flower again, I'm going to cover that in here. I'm going to get really close to that edge. And then I want to bring this line up and connect it up here. So let's go ahead and fill this little section right here in like this. Okay, then we're going to go down here, and there's a little space. So I'm going to follow the line right here along that's already there. I'm going to bring that down until I get to the little dotty line. Then I'm going to bring it out and widen that out just a little bit down at the bottom. And I think I might bring this up just a little bit more right here. Okay, then we're going to go down here. So here's another little wrinkle right here. So let's do a line right here. And then I'm going to bring this one clear up to the little line that's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this line and bring it down and connect it to this line. Like that. And then I want to bring this up here. Let's go past this line. About, and I'm going to brush this color up towards that line 
and then skinny it up as it gets up here. Okay, how's that so far? And then right here, she's got it where it dips down inside. It looks like it's going back down. So we're gonna give that a little wrinkle. So let's go up here, about right here. And we'll bring this down into this. And then we wanna cause it to have a little bit of a shadow in here. Okay, that looks pretty good for our dark there. So let's do E, or not E, B97 next. So we just want to go over those dark spots. I'm going to cover in the, the bottom down here all the way. And then we just want to add a little bit of color to each of these um, lines we already drew. So let's go down here. That. And then for this one, I'm going to go around this little flower and bring it back down here. So we're going to bring this out. And let's bring this up this way. And let's see, let's do a little bit of this color down here on this bottom section of her skirt. And then we'll give that a little bit of light color over there. And then on this one over here, let's do brush it this way. So I think I will cover in this bottom little section right here. And then we're going to bring this over. like that. And then for this little wrinkle right here, let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit more. And then I'm going to brush out this way still a little bit. And let's see, maybe I should bring a little bit of this color to up here above this ribbon that's her belt. And she's got a little bit of her skirt showing through the back right here. I'm going to cover that in. And maybe I better do a little bit right here. So with B34, we're going to add some more colors. So let's go ahead and brush this up close to her belt. Be careful, don't touch that belt. I'm going to bring this around a little bit. I think I'll bring this clear over to here. Like that. And then let's do right here. Let's again bring that. Let's bring this underneath that belt too. So we have consistency there. And then we're going to bring this over and let's make it so there's a white line coming down the side of this skirt. So let's brush out here, see how it goes. And then I'm going to fill in this little spot right here. So I think I'll bring this out a little bit more. So let's brush right along that again. And bring that out a little bit further. Soften this edge here on the second down here. Okay, and then let's do this little section. Brush right along that edge. I'm going to leave a little bitty white spot right there on that edge. And then for this one, let's do right. We'll leave a little bitty white spot there. 
And then the same for this side. Let's do over here. And then, oops, I better do a little bit of this color right up here at the top where I did the last time. Just add a little bit more color in there. Okay, then we're going to be B93. So let's fill in the top. And I'm going to fill in between the ribbon there where the she's got her little buckle strap holding the ribbon on her skirt. And then we want to color the rest of these lines in. And I'm going to cover in this little dot here underneath of her skirt. Soften that edge here just a little bit more. Let's work on the bird, the ribbon for her belt, and the top of her sandal. So let's get out Y26, 23, 21, and then YR14 and 12. So for her little belt here, we're going to use YR26 and 23. We're going to do Y26 first. Let's give that a little dab of color on each end of that little ribbon. And then up here, we're going to do a little dab on here. And here it's dipping, so I'm going to give that a little dip. Oops, and right here it curls in too, so let's give that a little splash. And then we're going to fill in the rest with Y23, so nothing fancy. We're just going to go right across the top of that. And then for the sandals down here, for the little strap, we're going to again use those colors. So let's do Y26. And then again, fill those in with our Y23. And then we'll go up here and we'll do our bird. So grab Y26. And let's do a little dab on his tail and then I'm going to do a little bit on each one of these little wings and then on his body let's do a little dab like this and then I'm going to do a little bit here beside his eye then I want to add a Y23 dab a little bit on there and just Take up a little bit more space. And then I want to do the rest of his body with my Y21. And then we're going to do YR14. A little slash of color on his feet and on his beak. And then we'll fill those in with our YR12. All right, since we have the yellow out, let's go ahead still and do, with my Y23, let's do the center of these little flowers up here. And then I'm going to do the string on her shirt. You could leave that white if you want to, but I'm going to color mine yellow. Match the ribbon on her skirt. 
that. Okay, so for the flowers and her shoes and her bracelet, we're going to use R24, 5, 14, and 21. And we're not necessarily going to use all those but on each one, but we're, those are the colors you should get out. So let's start down here on her slippers or on her sandals with R24. So with my R24, I'm just going to do a little dab right next to her foot. And same for this side. And I'm trying not to touch her foot. And then I'm going to add R05. And then R14 to fill in that top. I've got a little dab of red there on her toe. Whoops. And I did the same thing to this toe right here. And then I'm going to do the bottom with my R21. So oh, that leaves us, let's do this little flower here. So again, go with your R24. And I'm going to do the center right here. Boop. And then I'm going to pick a little bit down here on some of these petals. Kind of dab it on there a little bit. And then I'm going to grab R05. Same thing. I'm just going to add a little bit more up here. And then R14. And then I want to swish over the whole thing with my R21. All right, what do we got over here? We got a bracelet. So let's do R24. And I'm just going to give each of these little balls that's on here just a little dab of color at the bottom. And then I'm going to fill it in the rest of the way with my R21. And I'm also going to do the little band. That. And let's hop up here and we'll do the flowers in her hair. So again, we're going to do R24. So let's do a little bit. She's got some little lines on the flowers here. I'm going to give those a little dab of color. Try not to touch that yellow on your flowers. Whoops, like I did right there. And then I'm going to add a dab of my RO5. And then R14. And then our R21 to fill in the rest. Try to avoid those sinners there again. Well, all she needs now is something to stand on, so let's do C3 and C1. I'm going to start with my C3, and let's do, I want to go up past the shoe a little bit, so let's go up here.
just work our way around this shoe. And since it's over there, let's bring that over here. And then over here, this one's off the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and go straight across with this. And just give it a little bit right there. And then I'm going to add C1. And then I'm going to add another dab of my C3. So there is our beautiful spring enchantment image all colored up. Isn't she cute? If you would like to see what I did with this image, head over to the store blog and view blog posts for September 3rd, 2016, and you can see how it turned out on a card. If you have a question, go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'll make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, I hope you had fun coloring today, and we will see you next time. Bye!